This lesson is on 1D array and trace tables. So, firstly, we have a piece of code here. So, we've got an array called names, and it's storing Tom, Mark, and Sam. Then we have a for loop that's going from zero to the length of films. So, the length of films is three because you have three items inside. So, first, x is going to be zero because x, because we're going from zero to the length of films. Then it says print names x. So names zero, index zero is Tom. Then X will increment by one. Then it will display names X again, which is Mark. Then it will go again to two, it will increase. And then index two is Sam. Here we have another example. So we got X, Y, and X in an array. So it says four x in range from zero to the length of fill, or the length of array. So the length of the array is three. So it goes from zero. So first x is zero. Then it says letter. So its letter is equal to array x. So array x, array zero, is x. So the first index of the array, which is zero, is x. Then we have if letter is equal to x. So is that true or not? Yes, that's true. Because that's true, it says letter is equal to Z now. So we need to put Z in letter. We don't need to output anything just yet. We need to put Z first. Then it says print letter plus Y. So letter plus Y, this is Z plus Y. Now X does not change in this specific row. So we just keep it as zero, just keep it the same. So Z plus Y. So once we display Z plus Y, we go back to the top of the loop. To the top of the loop, X will increment by one. So X becomes one now. Letter is equal to array X. Array X is Y now. Then if letter is equal to X, that's false. Because that's false, it will display Y, Y. Then it will increment to two. So now that incremented to two, we go to top of the loop. Letter is equal to array x, array 2. So index 2 is x. So letter is now x. Then it says if letter is equal to x, yes, that's true. Because it's true, we set letter to z. x will stay the same, it will stay 2 in this row. And then it says print letter plus y, so z plus y. 